All right, and it's time now for data point reflecting on the journey of 39 years of KCPE, looking at the numbers and the, how they've been changing. Of course, we understand that 26 million candidates have gone through the system, but uh, there's something peculiar that happened during the KCP of 2023. The registered candidates are 1.415 million. This is the highest in any KCP across all those years. Of course, those that sat the exam were slightly lower by 9,354, meaning that only 1,000, I mean 1,406,000 sat that examination. The trend has been in the year 2019, 1.08 million candidates sat the exam. It was a difference of 2.96% from the previous year of 2018. In 2020, the number went up in uh, 8.8 percent that was the increment but then again coming in 2021 1.2 million candidates the increment between 2020 and 2021 was 2.95 percent in the year 2022 the increment again was below 2 percent which was 1.6 percent but in the year 2023 the increment has been a record 14 percent which appears to be the highest in any year of kcpe let's stress the numbers where they are this is how the trend has been uh, so initially in 2019 you can see what the numbers were uh, the total candidature has been going up, but then there's a spike between 2022 and 2023. So this is how it's explained in terms of the numbers. There are certain counties that recorded very high registration, but the examination centers did not change because in 2022, it was 28,408, and this time around, just an increment of a few, uh, which is 0.4% change. But Counties like the county of Baringo, the increment has been 30%. The difference between the candidature in 2022 and 2023, 30%. For Bomet County, similarly, 29.4%. In El Marakwet, the difference has been 29%. For Naro County, 28%. And Bungoma County, 27%. Remember, the average change is 14%. So how do you explain that? There are various questions that are being raised. Not many answers coming, especially from the authorities. In Nairobi County, the change was just below the national average because the change was 13%. Similarly to Homer Bay County, 13%. And CI, it was again below average, which is 11%. But the counties like Moranga and Kirinyaga, the change is minimal. For Kirinyaga County, reporting about 1%, I mean 1 change between the previous year and this year. Now, the underage candidates did not change as much as we look for answers why there was that major difference. At the 13 and below, students that are aged 13 and below, the change is just about 17.94% um, for 2022. 18.21% for 2023, which is less than 30, I mean 0.3 percent in change. Again, if you have to look at the trends, the KCP of 2022, it was 1.24 million. The KPSEA, this is grade six examination for last year, was 1.25. So that was grade six. So this was standard eight that time. So the students that were in standard seven that time have sat the examination at KCP 1.41 million, but the candidates that sat Grade six this time round, 1.28. You realize there's something abnormal here with the candidature of 1.4 million. We're looking for answers. They're not forthcoming, but you also understand that uh, this was the final examination. We understand there was a bit um, an attempt to have a mop up to ensure that every candidate who wants to see the examination gets an, uh, an opportunity. But there's also suspicion that there could be students who, didn't want, who did not want to proceed to junior secondary school and ended up going to standard eight, but of course that is not yet uh, confirmed by the ministry, and that is data point for tonight and this week.